good muffin shot. Big muff, big yeah. time muffin, dude. Big Gotta fit all this stuff on a tiny plane now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on is we are hurrying up and wait. Wait, hurry, hurry and wait. Hurry up and wait. That's the saying, right? I don't know. That's what this whole trip feels like so far. It's like rush to get on the plane, get on the shuttle, check out of the hotel, and now we wait. I'm really excited as soon as we get all the logistics over with, and we're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Here we go. It's getting real. It's getting real. Getting like, I'm like, Dude, how are you? I'm like oh, shaking. Right? I can't. <laughs> I've done this before, but I'm just still like getting Dude. nervous. I'm like putting my waders on, like this. Oh. I'm freaking out. <laughs> How you feeling? Feeling really nervous right now. <laughs> like pretty darn nervous. <laughs> just like not uh, like not like anything's bad's gonna happen. Just like I just been anxious about this for weeks and. Now we're here, so I don't know. It's it's a weird feeling. It's like before you. I mean, before you go on any big trip, especially it's like the unknown. Like I've never been here before. Marcus, you've been here, but I know it's gonna be a good time. And once we get out on the island, I think we're gonna be a lot more relaxed and having a good time. So looking forward to it. Just ready to get out there, though. I think I might be able to get it. It just got to see if I can get it in here without having to take that other seat out. Dude, I've never been in one of these. I've been in super cubs and I've been in beavers and otter. I've never I'm excited. Sweet. Oh man. <laughs> I'm about to be out there. <laughs>
here. <laughs> we got little toys, essentially. We got little water toys as our only means of transportation besides our feet. But there's already a bear over there that I'm going to put the spine scope on because it looks to be a nice one. <laughs> so tell them we can't hunt. Yeah, but also in Alaska, the day you fly, you cannot hunt, which makes sense because we totally saw that bear right as we were flying in. So um, it's it's a rule for a good reason. So we got to wait till tomorrow before we can hunt. So we are in chill mode now. We're just relaxing, gonna set up camp. We're really lucky that it's super nice. It's sunny. It's not pouring rain. Very nice opportunity to get all our stuff set up. So we're gonna do that. But first, let me look at that bear. Just a giant melon on him. Like, I feel like you just shoot that one. It's got big front end, big wrists, little ears, big old head. I feel like that's, it's just like, that's when you shoot. It looks real big. Got the base camp set up. My tent's up there. Time to go get some water. We got water, we got life, and we got a beautiful day out here. I'm excited. We have to wait till tomorrow to hunt, but I don't know. It's just relaxing now. We're just chilling. Got our water filtered. Go get a little firewood, eat some dinner, find some bears. If you're curious about the pack raft, even though Randy's not here, you can use promo code Randy and you can click the little link down there in the description and uh, get, get a sweet deal on a pack raft. So calm. This so is calm. I feel like this is this is not typical. Usually it's like raining, windy. Not too windy. But the rain, the lack of rain is very nice. Just relaxing out here. I feel like taking a nap. Make a bunch of noise. Well, we've seen just the one bear, but it appears to be a really big bear. Except we can't decide who's, who gets first stock tomorrow. If that bear's out there again, I think I'll try to. Does. I think we should flip for it. Flip a coin, flip a paddle, something. He might be hard to kill. Find out. They don't get big and old by being stupid. But they That's also don't see a whole lot of people out here. They either, probably so. don't see a lot of people. They really probably don't see a lot of people in pack crafts. Oh, there's a mink right there. Oh, we also brought fishing gear. And in theory, there's a steelhead stream over here. We're gonna go check and see if there's steelhead in it. It's a journey over there, so it's gonna be an adventure. We're gonna take like a full day probably to do that at some point, but I feel like we'll run into bears on the way to doing that. 
The only thing with steelhead, though, is I want to kill one and eat it. <laughs> but it has to be 36 inches or bigger in order to keep it. And you only get to keep one. I'm so excited, though. Like, this is... If it's like this tomorrow, too, we that'd be pretty lucky. I feel like you're just in a different world when you're out here. And everything just slows down. Because you just... Like, before this, like the logistics and leading up to this, you're just hurry up, hurry up, wait, hurry up, and then you get out here, and then it's just it's so calm, it's just chill. Just sit out here and relax, look for bears, float around in our little water toys. <laughs> what do you got to say? This is your first impression, like first time being here. Hey guys. <laughs> Confessions of a cameraman. <laughs> You're gonna hand me the camera. No. <laughs> hey guys. No, oh, it's pretty cool out here. I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out. I don't know how much I like floating around on a, on the ocean with this pack raft, but it's it's pretty it's pretty stable. It's it's not that bad. So, uh, it's fun. It's a beautiful day. A little bit anxious for the crappy weather coming ahead, but we're gonna make the most of it and try and kill one of these bears tomorrow. So, or this bear that we've seen tomorrow. So, Alaska, crazy spot, man. It's a crazy place, but it's fun. It's a weird feeling being out here in the middle of nowhere. So, Oh, good morning. <laughs> Just have a camera, camera shoved in your face. <laughs> what, you, what you doing? <laughs> Going poop. <laughs> you want me to get in slow-mo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Still super nice out, which is awesome. We were glassing a little bit this morning. Haven't picked up anything. I'm tempted to go after that bear, but I don't know. We're I think we're gonna go exploring first. We'll see, it. we're gonna go glass down there before we pack up. But I'm gonna load up the pack rafts with fishing stuff, hunting stuff, and go go on an adventure. There's a creek way the heck down here. Kind of want to check that out for both bears and fish. And then if we happen to see this guy come back out again, we're probably gonna have to go after him. I just don't know who's going to shoot it. I don't really care which one of us it is. But I think it'll a, make sense in the situation. It's a really nice bear. It's a really nice bear. So, but yeah, it's super nice. Bunch of eagles out. We got seals swimming around. It's sweet. We out here in Alaska. We're just kind of trolling here. Just floating the direction we want to go. Kind of slowly glassing. Haven't seen anything yet, but... It's just super nice. So, soaking it in, hopefully find a bear. Dude, honestly, it might not be a bad thing to just like float out here, like in the middle. Yeah. And just like wait for him to come out. No, that's kind of what I'm hoping. Cause there's a lot of good meadows like right in here. And I remember, I remember seeing a bunch along this shore last time. There was one really nice one at the very end of the bay. But it's cool. There's a bear. Right up here. Looks tiny. Is it?
ghosted us. He was right there, right? Yeah. Well, they looked like he was feeding in. What? They looked like he was feeding in to me. I don't think we did anything. I think he just went in. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah. go get our boats before the tide comes in. Hey, bud. I respect you, but keep your distance. <laughs> you gonna try to pet him? Hey, bub. Just paddled up onto a bear. It's 340 yards away. Just got one real quick clip of him, but he dropped down in a a little depression. I'm not sure if he's going in the trees or if he's gonna come out again, but it looked like a big bear. Like all three bears that we've seen to me have looked big, so I don't know if I'm like, my calibration's off and they're not as big as I think. They all look pretty big. But also the wind is swirling pretty bad right here, so it's not ideal. Bears have been really good at going in the timber right when we roll up. Uh, wait for a little bit maybe, but because then if the tide's up high or two, we can paddle up in there all the way. Yeah, that's good. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, if anything, we should just wait for this tide to come up a little bit. Yeah, see if he comes out. It looked like a good bear. I never saw him front on though. He's always going away. There is a trail. I don't know. What do you feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? I kind of want to go at least hike in there. We can maybe leave the rafts, but I think we should deflate though. Maybe hang them. Just because if, if a bear got into them, we're so screwed. So if, let's, yeah, take them up to the trailhead, deflate, hike over there, just rifle. Yeah, I mean, that'd be good because then we're not going heavy all the way over there without knowing what we're getting into. Not exactly bear proof, but hopefully, hopefully they're lazy. At least they have to work for it if they want to chew on all our stuff. We don't have any rope, I messed up. I forgot to bring rope. That have it at camp, just don't have it with us. Anyway, let's go find something, go explore. Sick of black tail. Good growth on him already. It's pretty sweet to see. He's just like freezing. It's like they can't, they can't see me. They can't see me. Sweet. This spot just feels like America. Yeah, it does. It's like bald eagle, this like epic scene. Uh, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Have you ever been in this bay before? No. It's a long boat ride around too, so I don't think very many people probably break it in here. Well, now we know. It's kind of cool. I think we, I think in high tide we could actually paddle way back to cut off like a mile of the trail and paddle through there too. But the steelhead creek in theory is over here. So if we fill our bear tags, we might have to come back. But until then, nothing's like really screaming out. We didn't see any bears. There's some good looking stuff, but I think we can kill a bear close to the boats over there. So and now we know, it's cool.
Yeah, it's and kind of the theory behind coming over here is that it's a nice day today, so. Yeah, exactly. It's super nice out. The rest of the, the forecast looks less nice. A lot of rain coming, so. Get this out of the way to see what we got, see what we're dealing with. I mean, well, it's nice out. Anyone know what kind of fish these are? We're on some ditch in the middle of southeast Alaska. Just some like road ditch here with some fish in it. They have like a white like stripe on their dorsal and white stripe on the anal fin. AK man. Yeah, what a place. Looks like a black Angus out there. <laughs> so we just got back from our hike and we were getting all our gear organized and we we're gonna set up the rafts and Michael spotted a bear like 700 yards away and it was a big, big boar. Um, but it just went out of sight. So we're gonna, we're gonna paddle up here and see if we can see it again. The wind's completely wrong though, so. See if we can get past him or I don't know. We'll see. At least get he, some close up footage of a bear. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know. He might have went in the he probably went in the trees. Yeah. But there's a the same big boar we saw this morning that we floated past is out again. The wind is awful, but we are so close to shore that I think if we went any further, he would have seen us and spooked. So not a high probability chance. He's probably gonna smell us, but maybe not. And if he's there, I'm gonna probably shoot him. It looks like a really nice bear. I'm sure he smelled us. I was starting to get hopeful though, because when, as soon as we went around that corner, the wind was good. But then like, it's just doing this weird swirly thing around the corners. Cause as soon as you, it's like, like we came around that corner, it's good. And then as soon as you hit right here, the wind just sucks right up that drainage. So I'm sure he caught it. Back to camp. We don't have any white caps right. Eh, a few white caps right now. It's <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. Big dog gotta eat. Big dog gotta eat. Let's go get some food. Last up, big old brewing from camp. Looking at some bears. We got two bears, different spots, super far away. Both of them are probably a mile and a half away. And the wind is not in our favor. So we're probably not gonna go after them tonight. It's a good zone though. We yeah. Seem to like that other side a lot more. <laughs> well, we're also on our side, yeah. not looking at it. So there's a bunch of, there's bear poop all over right there, so. Um, 
And we're making a bunch of noise and you know. Yeah. I don't know. They that one does look a little smaller, but this one over here looks pretty decent. What a life being a bear, just chilling out there, just eating grass all day. I can see a couple bears, they're just a long ways away. I'm probably gonna go to sleep pretty soon. <laughs> it's I feel like I'm being a little worse because it's still light out, but it's, it's only dark between like 10.30 and actually probably, it's probably like close to 11 by the time it's actually dark. And then it gets light at like three. <laughs> so you got four hours of dark down here. Maybe we'll get a little more serious tomorrow. I feel like we, we tried today, but we, we, yeah. we didn't, we didn't like, we never gave a stock like our full effort and we weren't really in kill mode. I kept like going for a spot and scope and you know, and like assessing the situation. But now we kind of know, and I'm still a novice at this, but <clears throat> from the couple times I've been here, I feel like once you see a big boar on a beach, he's probably gonna be, like there's a decent chance he's gonna be on that same beach. And if you see another bear on there, it's probably that same one. So we know some ones that we're willing to shoot that are like good boars, so. If we see those tomorrow, I think we'll be able to quickly assess and make a game plan. And as far as I'm concerned, all, I'm pretty positive all five of them were boars. And I think I would have shot all five of them. Like, they, I don't know, I'm not picky, but I, they all look big to me. Compared to Montana bears, they're all big. I'm having a great time. I am having a great time. I just am half asleep, but I am having a really good time. Promise. And that was a really good day.